Hello Tube Dwellers and welcome. I'm the Arcadian and this is the Beginner's Guide to Absolver. Absolver's combat is hard to master but easy to pick up as it follows an almost rock-paper-scissors-like structure. That may make it sound quite dumbed down but it becomes very complex when you get into the nitty-gritty. And while rock-paper-scissors implies hard counters, this isn't necessarily the case in Absolver due to other factors, such as stats, equipment, schools, weapon folding and feints. For this video we'll be ignoring these extra factors, except for feint, which we will get into, and we'll focus on the mechanics of combat itself. These mechanics come into play from the start, during character creation. There are three schools that you can choose at the beginning, with a fourth secret school that you gain access to randomly after level 20. Each school has its own particular style that we'll go into in a separate video. What all classes have in common, however, is the stamina bar. This serves three functions, blocking, dodging and attacking, with each draining a certain amount of stamina based on the power and type of attack either incoming or outgoing. Blocking is quite simple. Hold down the button and you'll block any incoming move, although you may want to avoid breakers, indicated by your opponent's limb glowing red, as they drain a lot of stamina if they hit. Make sure when blocking to release the block button whenever it's safe to do so. The stamina bar will recharge a lot faster when you're not blocking. You can gain distance to safely drop your guard by holding the directional button away from your opponent and pressing dodge. On the offensive side, the stamina bar serves a dual purpose. It will drain naturally as you perform moves, but it also provides an indicator for perfect attacks, or just attacks, as the fighting community calls them. Mastering these are crucial to doing well in Absolver and absolutely necessary if you do a lot of PvP. Here's how they work. When launching an attack, you will see two arrows appear on your stamina bar, and the bar will fill from left to right. The objective is to hit the attack button just as the bar reaches the two arrows, initiating a just attack. Getting a just attack reduces the stamina cost of the move, allows the fluid continuation of a combo, and activates the next move in the combo string much faster than normal. Here's an example of what a standard combo string looks like when I just button mash. And here's an example of the same combo string utilizing just attack timing. Much better, right? You can also string just attacks into feints, and vice versa, in order to punish an opponent who has learned the pattern of your strikes. Feints are activated by pressing the guard button immediately after you attack. The timing is a little tight, but quite forgiving. Feints allow you to punish your opponent in a number of ways, but there are two main ways of doing so. Firstly, feinting may trick your opponent into attempting a counter, which leaves them open to a combo string. Secondly, feinting will continue your combo string as though you had actually launched the attack, meaning that you can feint into a different stance and completely throw off your opponent's pattern recognition. It's worth noting that while the AI in Absolver is pretty good, and you can feint against it, this is primarily a PvP move, so don't worry too much about it to begin with if you don't plan on doing PvP for a while. Feints, of course, can be punished by your opponent if they anticipate it coming correctly, so it's a risk versus reward kind of situation. And that really sums up Absolver. It's very much a risk versus reward kind of game. Do you commit to the heavy alt attack, knowing your opponent might counter? Do you attempt to punish with your own counter, knowing they may bait you with a feint? Do you use your shards on healing, or drain them all to unfold your weapon, which they may then take off you? The game is about balancing these risks against the potential rewards, seizing opportunities, and using every method at your disposal to gain the upper hand, all whilst paying close attention to your resources and surroundings. And that's what being an Absolver is all about. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to this channel, and if there's something you'd like to see covered in future videos, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, Absolvers, don those masks, and I'll see you in a doll.